Hey guys, welcome to week 29 of 52 and hashtag Realtor Life. And I wanted to talk this week about inspections and when you're buying a home and how they can impact the sale of your home um, or the purchase of your home um, kind of deep into the process. So, you know, getting agreeing on a price is one thing, but then we enter to inspection period. And I will go on record, I don't want anybody yelling at me. 1000% I always tell my buyers get an inspection get an independent inspection the independent inspectors do however carry a very strong liability so they have to report everything they see in the property that they physically can see they're not going to move washers and dryers out of the ways and things like that but they have to report uh, everything in order of severity or lack thereof it could be anything as large as the roof is falling apart uh, to a light bulb that's not working but buyers that get these reports and I warn my buyers that sometimes the reports can feel lengthy um, not to let them freak them out too bad but I will tell you that um, it's really important the inspection companies that do come in I do use um, one company that I know is going to do an extraordinary job for my clients and make them feel safe make them feel comfortable. So the inspector, when they come in, it takes a couple of hours and <clears throat> then we subsequently get a report. We go through the report with our buyers at the house and we go through the summary. The inspector, could, the tonality, the facial expressions or the verbiage that they use can really um, be a huge, huge uh, fork in the road for buyers sometimes. So. I'm dealing with run right now where the inspection was, this property was shy of pristine. Two Air Force pilots um, owned it, they were in their 70s. It's, it was almost perfect and it's an older unit in Fountain Hills. So my buyer who did get a very, very, very fair price on this property for his son wanted his place to be perfect. So my client asked for, the list was very, very minor, but there were items on there and give you an example the inspector said that the garage door was not working you know how when it goes down and it stops when it's impeded so my client for example said I want a new garage door opener and I said that's a lofty one because it's probably just an adjustment I didn't know but I said you know let's wait for the seller to say I'm not gonna replace it just adjust it but so we made our list and we requested, I'm gonna say, I think we did 12 items. The seller came back and said, I'm gonna do two. My buyer was willing to walk over, and this is my buyer's experience, not everybody's. My buyer was willing to walk over things like nails, like holes in the drywall that needed to be patched and painted. So the agent and I came together and we are making up the difference. We see the value in that. But the point is, is that if once you've gotten your price out of the way and you've agreed on a sales price, then you have inspection. That's a negotiation piece. The buyer can say yes to some, no to some, yes to all, no to everything, or give you a credit to do your repairs. And it can be um, a pretty dicey piece of the contract and the negotiation because for some reason at this point, because the inspection is 10 days and then the seller gets five days to do their part, the seller has an additional five days to do their part. You could be as late as 20 days in a 30 day escrow or closing. So things can get a little bit tense. So it's super, super important how we as agents sort of balance that, um, that situation. Hopefully we've got a good agent on the other side as well. Our job is to of course protect our clients, but also we want to work properly with the other agents so we can help both sides feel like they're being fairly taken care of. So having an inspection is very, very important. However, when you read the inspection, what I want you guys to do is recognize that there are times that the inspection says more than it needs to, or it seems more severe than it is. Bring your own contractors in if you want to. Um, if there's an AC issue, the bigger issues, or, or plumbing or electrical, feel free to bring in your own people. But I wanted to speak on the fact that it takes, at that point of the contract, I've seen people want to cancel a deal over light bulbs being changed. So there, it weighs very, very heavy on the whole entire process. So that is it for this week. And I will talk to you guys soon. Long video this week. I'm sorry. Uh, have a great weekend.